Hi guys, Sandy Ingram here. Welcome to the Education Matrix channel. Major oil producers face a difficult decision on production levels. As Iraq, the country, and the oil prices recover, the demand for oil has hit a new roadblock due to the latest strand of COVID-19 found in South Africa. This week's meeting, which is being held today, of OPEC plus ministers is fast becoming one of the most important meetings since the pandemic demand recovery began. The major question is how much more oil will be added to supply to start the new year? Now, here's what happened when OPEC did not increase the supply last month. The United States, on released on November 23rd, I believe it was, a plan to release 50 million barrels of oil from the U.S. Strategic Petroleum Reserve in an effort to lower prices for Americans and address the mismatch between demand and supply. In other words, to control the prices of oil. And here's what you need to know. Anytime OPEC Plus has a problem, so does Iraq. Iraq is still recovering from the last drop in oil prices and the results of the pandemic. Except this time, the U.S. appears to want to help control the narrative of oil supply. Now, moving on to Vietnam for a quick moment. Vietnam says only 105,600 new companies were formed in Vietnam during the first 11 months of 2021. Now, that's a decline of 15% from last year, according to the country's general statistics office. In Zimbabwe, we learned that the country has paid off $44 million in foreign debt. This is great news. And investors around the world are no doubt hoping for a full recovery for Zimbabwe, a country that has massive amounts of gold that has yet to be mined. About 60% of Zimbabwe's land is dominated by gigantic rocks that have a rich variety of mineral resources, such as gold, base metals, and industrial minerals. Because of this richness in minerals, mostly gold, the country has experienced a long, long history of mistreatment by other countries putting themselves in charge due to the vast wealth of Zimbabwe.